Inflation is down. The jobs market is strong. Credit card debt is the highest it's ever been. Unemployment ticked up in August. Hourly wages are up. Credit card delinquencies are up. Hiring is slowing down. Consumer spending is up. Mortgage rates are hitting 20 year highs. I know all these headlines about the economy are overwhelming, they're good, they're bad, they contradict each other, and sometimes they just straight up don't match with what you feel in your everyday life. But the reality is, in less than three weeks, the Federal Reserve will take all the actual data behind all those contradicting headlines and decide whether or not to raise interest rates on all of us again. So, do we have a hint at which way they're leaning? Yeah. And before I share it with you, I want to thank my TikTok subscribers for voting for this story as the bonus this week. If you want to vote too, the only way you can do that is to subscribe to my page. You can do that during my next live event. Or you can now just go to my profile and follow the steps. Now back to that Federal Reserve hint. Last week, the Federal Reserve Chairman said this. We have tightened policy significantly over the past year. Although inflation has moved down from its peak, a welcome development, it remains too high. We are prepared to raise rates further if appropriate and intend to hold policy at a restrictive level until we are confident that inflation is moving sustainably down toward our objective. You heard him. They are not afraid to raise interest rates again. In fact, the chairman has said he expects at least one more rate hike in 2023. Now, there are only three Federal Reserve meetings left this year, so the rate hike may not be this month. It may actually come in early November or in December, depending on what the market looks like. And that market is complicated. The numbers show overall inflation or headline inflation has been coming down steadily since last year. But food prices are still high. The jobs market is still really strong. Jobs are still being created, albeit fewer jobs than before, but more people are joining the workforce. But also in August, unemployment ticked up to 3.8%. The Fed chair explained the reasons for America's complicated economic picture and stubbornly high inflation. And it's important to know inflation is a global problem. The effects of Russia's war against Ukraine have been a primary driver of the changes in headline inflation around the world since early 2022. Headline inflation is what households and businesses experience most directly, but food and energy prices are influenced by global factors that remain volatile and can provide a misleading signal of where inflation is headed. And where it's headed, according to the Federal Reserve, is down. The Fed chair fully expects inflation to get to the target rate of 2% even if they have to keep raising interest rates into next year. And they'll do it even if it means the U.S. economy slows down and more people lose their jobs. Getting inflation sustainably back down to 2% is expected to require a period of below-trend economic growth, as well as some softening in labor market conditions. The Federal Reserve will announce its interest rate decision on September 20th.